Our, hi guys, my name is Jenny, and right now we are in the tree house, which is located in Big Backyard. And today we have something extra special going on. We have some new amphibian friends who are joining us. They just finished their two week quarantine period. So this is just their transport enclosure. It's nice and safe and contained, but their new home, as you can see, it's set up very beautifully with some nice eco earth. They love the dirt because it holds in humidity really well. And then we've got some live plants for them. So I'm going to go ahead and give their plants a good mist because these guys are from very humid areas, rainforests. So we're going to make a little mini rainforest for them. Water. We actually use special water with our amphibians and that's because amphibians have really sensitive skin. So this is frog water, which basically just means that it's been set out and allowed all the chemicals to evaporate out of it. And that way it doesn't hurt them. They're very, like I said, very sensitive to any chemicals or changes in their environment. So this is a way we help keep them safe and comfortable. We have six new additions to the family. So six red eyed tree frogs. They're from South America, which is where you can find a like, really amazing amount of amphibian diversity. So this might be a little exciting because they are tree frogs, which means they're really good at jumping. So I washed my hands really well. And now I'm spraying them with a layer of frog water to make sure that the oils on my skin don't bother their skin. We're gonna do one at a time. We'll put him in his new home and then you can get a closer look. So these guys have a pretty neat adaptation and those red eyes actually are a way to protect themselves from predators because normally they're just little green lumps and they blend right in with the trees. But when they see something scary, they open those red eyes, which can be kind of startling to a predator and it'll help deter them from going after them. So as you can see, they've got really amazing sticky pads on their feet that he's using to climb trees and me. And these guys are also really important to the environment because they eat bugs for us. So hopefully none of you make a habit of eating bugs, or if you do, good for you, because there's a lot of them out there. But these guys help us by being nature's bug zappers. So they're really great to have around, all amphibians really. And if you look closely, if you can kind of look at them, the larger ones are the female, and then this little one is going to be a male. So while we can't tell them all apart yet, and they don't have names just yet, we do know that we have three females and three males. I say we know, but really it's always kind of a guess with some of these animals. We might find out later that we're wrong, but we're going to go with that assumption for now. So you can see the bright colors on them. Like I was saying, most of the time they're just this little green ball. There you go. But when they see something scary, they're going to flash all those bright colors. In nature, bright colors usually mean dangerous. So even though these guys really aren't dangerous, those bright colors might let predators think that they're poisonous and not want to eat them. Hopefully they'll spend some time exploring their new home, although it looks like a couple of them have just gone right back to sleep, which is a good sign. That means they're comfortable already. Thanks for tuning in guys and coming to see our brand new little members of our treehouse. And the next time you're at the zoo, make sure you stop by Big Backyard and check out the treehouse.